Welcome, Capricorns, I gotta say. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Capricorns, let's see what is coming up in the month of May. What we have for you guys is that the truth is coming out. And <clears throat> this card comes up in um, the reverse. Um, and it's about people are going to be recognizing and seeing the truth in the first week. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, they are going to be recognizing and seeing what has been happening, what has been taking place. So truths are going to be revealed. The secrets are coming out, Capricorn. So whatever secrets a lot of Capricorns hold, the secrets is coming out. Um, <clears throat> there is no <clears throat> way you're going to be hiding anything, Capricorns, because people are going to be finding out the truth that is coming out. Then we see a tower moment because the secrets that was being held is going to be visible. A tower moment is coming down. And it's as if you Capricorns are cleaning up a situation and revealing what has been happening and what has been transpiring and um, revealing to people what they have been doing. You are going to be victorious and successful, Capricorn. <clears throat> there is no way. Um, this is really um, seen and showing up the truth of the lies, uh, the deceptiveness, the secrets. This is about the secrets that was held. A tower moment is coming down. Victory and success is yours. <clears throat> and this comes up in the last week. Go check out the general reading, Capricorns, because um, there people were recognizing and seeing the truth of what was going on and how people were manipulating a situation and how a whole lot of people had a whole lot of secrets. And it's as if the universe said, no more, <clears throat> not happening, no more, no more. It is not happening. We are making sure that the information comes out and a balance come in. So you are using your Saturnic energy in the last week and you're going to be victorious and successful. So in the first week, they are finding out who is this Pisces, um, who is a scorpion, who is a Pisces. They're finding out a whole lot of information about a young Pisces cancer or a scorpion person. Whoever this person is, their secrets is going to be revealed in the first week. People are going to be recognizing who is this young man. Um, yes, it is someone between the ages of 19 and uh, 50. Who is this young man? They are going to be finding out uh, what this young man have done. The Six of Swords, some sort of a cycle between you and a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion could be over. Or it's about to over uh, because you there's some sort of information that came out about this person, what this person have done. And I see that some sort of a secret <clears throat> that this person was holding um, is going to be coming out. Some of you are going to be recognizing who this person really is. And I see so if you're in a relation with this person, um, some sort of an end. You could be recognizing that your relationship is about to end. All right. The energy of the two of pentacles, this is uh, um, uh, Jupiter in, 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 in Capricorn, where a whole lot of secret that was kept. Um, some of you Capricorns uh, who was in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. Um, um, I see truths is going to be revealed over this person and who this person is to you. And I see... Um, that a whole lot of you had hoped for some sort of a new start, especially young people um, with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. It might not be happening. Whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, their secrets is coming out. And because of that, you're going to be deciding to let this person be. Okay. Um, the energy of the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of uh, uh, Prudency. Um, that is coming up and this is about work okay some sort of a situation about work a tower moment is going to be coming down at the workplace or um, with your job um, for some of you or with your business some sort of a tower moment could be happening then we see um, whoever this young um, Aquarian Gemini or Libran is a tower moment is coming down for them at the workplace. Uh, they're going to be fired. So some of you could be firing an Aries, an, 
an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, some sort of a news. This is a prince of swords, a young, um, a young person, some sort of a news is coming out. Um, people recognize uh, that what they were doing. The Prince of Cups. Oh my God. You're going to be overcoming a lover. A lover. Someone you were in a relationship with. <clears throat> Whoever this person is and whatever that was transpiring, you're going to be overcoming this person. Um, for some of you, this could be your child. And you're going to be recognizing something what your child has done. And you're going to be overcoming a play, a dishonorable play that a child has done. Um, then uh, the energy of the nine of wands, the nine of wands is that you're going to be protecting your child at all costs, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, you are going to be standing your ground, protecting your child at all costs. Okay. Because you recognize that people try to show your child under the bus and you are going to be standing up and protecting this person at all costs. Okay. So um, Capricorn, I was expecting something else better for you guys, but it is what it is. You see, I pulled the cards on, <clears throat> I pulled the cards on a line so that you guys have um, seen it, but it is not bad. A lot of you are dealing with kids, so whatever is happening between you and kids, um, and younger people, younger than yourself, they're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, whatever these people are, whatever is transpiring, it's coming up as kids, okay? So I'm going to be putting this layout up there so a lot of you um, Capricorn um, could find out and recognize what you're going to be dealing with in this month. Um, it is a situation where some of you Capricorns uh, are going to be really finding out how they have worked against your child. Okay, and I see whatever the Tower moment is, is the Tower moment is about releasing your child out of some sort of a negative situation that other people outside influence has created for your child. So it's as if you Capricorns are standing your grounds and protecting your children. As this month is about children and your lovers, especially for whoever is in relationship and sisters and brothers, um, family members. So, Whatever is happening and transpiring, I see a whole lot of you are going to be having some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue with family members, okay? I see that uh, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person wanted some sort of a new start with you, but you have blocked this person. You don't want to have any communication with this person. So whoever this young Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person is... Uh, they wanted a comeback and you're like, no, I, you know, I prefer not to. Whatever information that you are going to be receiving, um, you're going to be recognizing that there is no need to have a comeback with this person. So light is going to be shed. The secrecy of a young um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man is going to be coming out then I see some sort of a cycle is not yet over and a tower moment is going to be coming down. So expect this tower moment um, in the third week or some sort of an unexpected situation. Your best week is going to be the last week. Some sort of an offer, a business offer that some of you were waiting on. Or I see a lot of you looking for work. Um, and in the last week, you will receive some message. News is coming in about your lover. Or your a new love that uh, some of you could a new love could be coming up for you, but some sort of information is coming out about this person. Now you're standing your ground and protecting um your child at all costs. You're standing your ground to uh, information and is investigating some sort of information that is going to be coming out about your child. Okay. Then we see the secrets of a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion and how they work against you. This person is not going to get a new start. They recognize that this man has created a whole lot of problem. They're recognizing and a tower moment is coming down on a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man. He's in the reverse. A tower moment is coming down. A lot of information is coming out and people are recognizing who this man is and that this man has been working against a lot of you Capricorn for a very long time. Whether it's your partner or whether it is a, a family member uh, this man um they're going to be making some sort of a decision about this man then i see the two of pentacles where some sort of a decision needs to be made about your child 
um, I see some sort of a um, unexpected information is going to be coming out where you have to make some sort of a decision about your child. News is coming in and some of you wanted some sort of a news, a new offer. And I see there was, there was some sort of a secrecy that was kept. Some of you were supposed to get some sort of a new offer and it as if people were blocking it and was keeping some sort of a secrecy, but you're going to be victoriously overcoming this and standing your ground so that this, uh, um, new offer or this new thing needs to come in. So decision about work is going to be the name of the game. Some sort of a decision about work is going to be coming up. Then we recognize um, whatever the secret is, is uh, um, about a former um, Pisces Cancer Scorpion man that you were working with. I see you're standing your ground. I say new new start is coming up for this man because they recognize this man have created a whole lot of problems. Okay. A tower moment is definitely going to be here. And we see the energy of emotional situation that has to do with your child. Um, a lot of you emotional situation that has to do with your lover, a new lover or a partner. And um, a cycle isn't over. It could be that some of you have some sort of a um, uh, problems that you were working on. Okay. Then I see you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming a situation. A new new offer of business um, for some of you business people could be coming in. Some of you are going to be overcoming a young person or a young lover that has created a whole lot of problems and issue for you. All right. So men, they're going to be finding out something about the man. And this is what I um, I told you guys. If you are married to a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person, you're going to be finding out something about this man, that this man had some sort of a secrecy. And you're going to be deciding whether or not you move forward with this man. Um whether it is <clears throat> right for you to move forward with this man, because it's as if you recognize that this man kept a lot of secrets from you. Melancholy. A lot of you are melancholy because a lot of you had a hope for some sort of a new start. You're very melancholy. Whatever is happening and transpiring, um, a lot of you young Capricorn women or sitting in, in a position of melancholy because there is some sort of a problem that a lot of you... Uh, Capricorn women are dealing with with a relationship, a whole lot of problems. So I see both young men and women. Young men is melancholy because they wanted some sort of a start, but it's not going to be coming in. And you young women are melancholy because some sort of a decision is needed to be made. Some of you young women in a relationship with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion man needs to make some sort of a decision whether or not you're moving forward with this person or not. I see a whole lot of sadness that was there. Some of you secrets comes out, a whole lot of sadness and a tower moment is going to be coming down to end this sadness because a lot of you um, were dealing with a whole lot of sadness, especially you men um, was dealing with a whole lot of sadness. Men, um, businessmen was dealing with a whole lot of sadness. Uh, an end could be coming up to some of you businessmen business. Yes, a huge tower moment is going to be coming down. So the second week going in the third week, uh, and the tower is here. And a lot of people don't like the tower, but the tower is good because there is some sort of a block that was placed on you Capricorn and they're going to be released. A lot of you Capricorns who were saddened, you're going to be released from the sadness. A lot of blocks was placed. It's as if they blocked a lot of you Capricorns from not moving forward. Block your business. This is going to block is going to be now released because people are now recognizing who was blocking your business and the blocks that was created around your business and the blocks that was created that some of you do not get um, a position or a job. A lot of you are going to be thinking about relocate, whatever is happening and transpire. A whole lot of sadness that is going to be making some of you think about relocating. A lot of you um, um, recognize that a, um, some sort of a sad news from another country is going to be coming in um, for a lot of you. Some sort of a sadness. And a lot of you um, ladies are going to be standing your grounds in order to protect your child. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you ladies, you decide to stand your ground. You're protecting your child at all costs. So whatever that was happening and transpiring to your child 
you are going to be deciding to stand your ground um, with this. Now, what we recognize also is that you young ladies are, um, you know, a lot of uh, new admirers are coming in, but it's as if you are not uh, focusing on these people because you are so sad. You are sad that you're not seeing these new admirers that is coming in. Then we see sadness for your child. Um, you men, a whole lot of sadness for your child. Whatever is transpiring with you men, a tower moment is coming down and this tower moment is going to be affecting your child. A lot of you could be pregnant and is having some sort of a problem with your pregnancy. Some of you could be losing, um, having a miscramp, a baby, miscramp with a baby, okay, losing a baby. Some of you men, um, your child, a tower moment is coming down for your child that you men are going to be receiving some sort of a information um, that a, a, a real disaster or situation happened to your child, okay? Um, some sort of a news is going to be coming in about your business. And I see um, like uh, women that was worried about their business. Um, there was some sort of a block that was placed on your business. I see some sort of a news is going to be coming in. So it is a sad month. Um, that I would say it is a sad month and the sadness is uh, where they recognize that there was some sort of a horrible um, play that was transpiring and it's as if you Capricorns recognize that you got caught up in some situation, some problems that was, um, you know, really um, makes you think jesus you know i stay out of the way of people i see sadness for your child your children are having some sort of a sadness okay um and what we're recognizing is that you men are saddened about the situation with a child and your secret is now coming out and i see a whole lot of sadness for you men you men um recognize that you make some sort of a bad decision for a child in the past but you're looking in the past thinking, Jesus, I wish I'd made a different decision for this child. Um, but you recognize that you have made some bad decision in the past with your children or your child. <clears throat> a lot of you women recognize that there has to be an end. It's as if you were blocked or your business was blocked. And a tower moment is coming down to end this because they are not recognizing um, that your sadness comes from People who were trying to work against you. People who were trying to dismiss and dismay you of something. And you're recognizing Jesus. Um, I'm, I'm letting this go. It, it, it's as if uh, it's always something coming up. I'm sick of this. Okay. So we see a lot of melancholy for young people. Young people. Um, younger than 50. A lot of melancholy. Um, mothers, you're going to be standing up for your child at all costs. Sadness is going to be over because some sort of a secrecy you men, some sort of a secrecy that you men old, it could be secrets over as child, outside child that is going to be coming out for a lot of you men. Um, a lot of you are going to be thinking about relocating. A lot of you are going to be recognizing um, it is better for me to relocate. A lot of you are going to be getting some sort of a, a message that an end has come in and some sort of a relocation. Okay, so it depends on who you are. You got to ask for a private reading and check out what is coming up in the extended. All right, so the month energy is about self-worth. A lot of you, Orange, you're going to be finding out your self-worth in this month. Whatever that was happening and transpiring is a month of self-worth. You're going to be finding out what you are worth. Now, this energy of eight. Eight. And self worth is a lot. Is is as if a lot of you men are going to be what, recognizing what is your self worth. A lot of people, a lot of you men, and a lot of you women are going to be overcoming a, a disaster or situation that has been transpiring and has been taking place. And it is this month is going to be teaching a lot of you about self uh, self worth, and a lot of you are going to be overcoming a really this honest man whoever this this honest man is um you, that makes you that create a whole lot of sadness in your world you're going to be overcoming um this person okay then we look and we see expansion there is a lot of expansion that is going to be happening 
a lot of you um men that was uh, connected with a pisces cancer scorpion person another man i see you're going to be finding out the secrecy of a pisces cancer scorpion man and it's as if this was your business partner or your brother you're going to be finding out some sort of an expansion that this person has been doing and how this person has been creating i love this energy this energy is number 43 and this energy is about you women recognizing um the situation that was thrown at your child you're really now recognizing a whole lot of situation that was thrown at your child so i see Capricorns with children is as if now you are recognizing um, what has happened to your kids and the situation that was transpired. <clears throat> Vanity, blau. It's about blue energy. It's about cleaning. I, I just had something to eat and I, <laughs> and I keep on clearing my throat. Vanity. And they're going to be recognizing that a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion man, it was only for the vanity whatever is happening and transpire whoever this man is it was only for vanity that this person um had connected with you in the first place is as if you're going to be recognizing that this person only connected with you um in the first place because of vanity there's a whole lot that is going on number 37 a whole lot that is going on and men and women are going to be affected Whew. Oh, you guys were dealing, uh, men and women are going to be affected. Oh, Lord. It is uh, um, mm -mm -mm. a whole lot of situation is transpiring. Um, men and women, this situation, especially when we look, the energy of vanity, some sort of a situation is not over. A lot of you had hoped for some sort of a new start. A tower moment is coming down. I see a tower moment is coming down for a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Some sort of a news is coming in for a lot of you that you would were not expecting. And I see a lot of you are going to be standing your ground. So, so I see you women is going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of a man. So if you notice, you women have now seen the truth of a man. Is this your partner? Who is this man? You recognize and you shed light to the discrepancy and the deceptiveness of this man. We have number 88, Infinity. There's a whole lot of uh, th stuff that is coming in from karmatic life um, that has been happening and transpiring. A lot of karmatic energy is coming in for you, ladies and gentlemen, okay? You men, a tower moment is coming down on your child. If your child is an... Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, and you were hoping for some sort of a, ch uh, uh, a new start for your child, it's not going to be happening. So men um, who have children that is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, an Aries, they are a Sagittarian, the tower moment is coming down on them. A lot of you could be receiving some sort of a message um, about your child or from your child, especially you, you women, some of you have not um, heard from your child in a very very long time now a lot of you uh, women are going to be overcoming a real negative force this person is so negative it's a man it's a really negative force you're going to be overcoming this negative force and i see you women are going to be recognizing the unconventional play um that um someone has have two face two face okay Mm hmm. You women, especially women 50 years and older, you're going to be fighting and taking down um, the devil itself. OK. You women are going to be um, standing and protecting your child and taking down and ending a really disturbing situation. Number 88 is going to be your energies and what is transpiring A tower moment. Secrets are coming out and a ton of tower moment. The sadness is now finally going to be over for a lot of you because a lot of you could be using uh, the energy of uh, a Saturn to bring down and bring out some disturbing situation that was transpiring. So decision is going to be making and I see 
a letter is going to be coming in and this is a letter of duality where a tower moment is going to be coming down and um, and you know vanity vanity is about people who are um you know because of love because of money a lot of you did something and now you're recognizing i should not have done this so it is mostly affecting people who have done things and then it's coming back to bite you in the butt and then you're recognizing jesus i should not have done what i have done a lot of you are going to be protecting yourself from a man. Whoever this man is, this man has caused you enough sadness. And I see a lot of you women are turning your back from the sadness and is looking at the future and is recognizing, um, you know, I really do not want a relationship right now. I'm recognizing that it is time for me to heal myself relationship is not what i'm looking for right now so a lot of you a whole lot of admirers are out there but as as, as if a lot of you are not interested in these people and you're just thinking about to protect your kid for some of you or some of you some sort of a news from your kid is going to be coming in on her young child or a young woman some sort of a news is going to be coming in and you're going to be um, balancing out yourself. So it's about self-worth, expansion, and vanity. Self-worth, expansion, and vanity. It's about the end of your sadness. Okay? The end of your sadness. I love you guys. I gotta go. Remember to thumbs up, likes, and share these videos. Namaste. Until next time.